You know, when we talked to Jim Hackett, he admitted that investors, they, they have a reason to be a little bit looking forward, like when are things going to start to turn at Ford? But he's still saying, be patient, it'll come around, because most of what you're seeing with the stock that's now under $9 a share is because of pressure on the company's margins. Here's Jim Hackett. A lot of what you're seeing in the margin-to-margin -margin performance is because Ford's more future-ready in the design of the existing vehicles. Uh, with regard to fitness, I think they just want to believe that it's happened. So in the last... You think in, uh, the analysts want to believe? That they, want, they want to believe. And in the last 30 days, they're starting to see our plans in Europe, uh, which was something we'd hinted about. And common sense would say that a plan like that, that's as extensive as that, needs to be highly choreographed because you have really important constituents that you've got to have in sync. I challenge people that have never run an industrial company to understand the way you run that sure. versus, say, a tech company uh, where you have a lot of these fixed assets and how you manage that. But I'm really happy that last year was about designing and thinking these ideas. This year is about them happening. About executing. Executing. Part of that is, is you have a wave of vehicles that are coming out this year. Seventy. Will certainly help the revenue and the bottom line as you're investing in further restructuring uh, over the next year. Are those investments, when do they pay off in that restructuring? Well, and that's an important insight that you would get covering the industry. Do you realize some of the pain in the margins additionally are because the vehicles were old? We had the average oldest fleet in the industry. We're going to have the average newest fleet. 75% of the portfolio is being turned over. So the, the Explorer is an example of that. This, sure. this product's gone through nine model years. It's had mid-cycle reviews, but this is the first time in nine years it's been uh, re-engineered and redesigned like you're seeing today. What about with electric vehicles? Tesla clearly has shown there's demand in the market. General Motors is investing heavily there. When people look at Ford in electric vehicles, there are a lot of people who say, I'm not seeing enough. When do we see more? Well, we, we've talked about a huge investment in electric uh, vehicles. We have 16 models that are in uh, design and development. I have a pretty big surprise coming next year. Um, and we've actually inferred something more important. We said those early generations of uh, EVs were like science projects and they attacked a narrow segment of the market that had a good head about society and the performance environmentally. These are products that are going to appeal to car owners and car lovers and they meet both of those other objectives. So Jim Hackett saying there is a big surprise coming next year when it comes to electric vehicles. Guys, I think most people believe that Ford will finally announce an all-electric vehicle, maybe uh, a, a, a mid-size type sedan or small SUV. Do they do something with the F-Series in terms of electrifying it more than what they have right now? So those are the options that are out there. The other focus for uh, investors when it comes to Ford, what will be announced with regards to a potential partnership with Volkswagen. The two sides have been talking. Likely we will hear something in the next couple of days where Ford and Volkswagen collaborate in terms of some Volkswagen facilities may be building some Ford vehicles in Europe. Volkswagen will get some collaboration with Ford here in the United States as both of those automakers try to use up the other one's capacity to a certain extent in both of those continents.